Hi, I'm Marlene Fabry. I'm the editor of AlternativePhotographer.com. This is my antitype for this year. I made it using tea. I like to drink tea in the morning. And I made this using very strong Assam tea. I dipped the print into the liquid, let it dry, and then added another seven layers. I used a paper cutter to make the image, but I also tried using a transparent paper to see what that would be like. But the solid paper would be my choice. My name is Natalia and I'm an artist from the south of Brazil. On this second world antitype day, I chose to make an emotion of the iris flower and this is my final print. The title of my antitype is Time Lapse. And to make the emotion, I used a couple flowers and at least five layers. I didn't add water or any thinner because after it closes, the flower itself releases a very watery pigment. So if you are thinking of making an antitype with it, remember to wait for it to close and don't pick it up when it's still open. To create the image, I made a circular drawing on a transparent acetate matrix. I chose the iris because it's my favorite flower. It's very beautiful, smells good, and you could say that it only lasts a day or a whole day. But in reality, it lasts a few hours. It opens when the sun hits it, and as the sun goes down, it closes. You can find more information and details in this year's emotions database and online gallery on the Alternative Photography website. Thanks for watching and enjoy the second world at the time day. Good morning, my name is Jamie Lee Oland and this is Plum Shizo. She's beautiful, she's tasty, and much to my delight and surprise, she makes a beautiful emulsion as well. When you're just painting the emulsion on paper, uh, you'll get this beautiful greenish ochre color. This is about four layers on printmaking stock. When exposed to the sun, the positive images become green, like a beautiful medium green, and the resulting uh, negative space is a warmer brown. The difference is pretty clear. What I've been experimenting with lately is multiple exposures and multiple different emulsions to create kind of a fine art print. Um, and this here is a result of some of those experiments. So we have Hopi Red Dye Amaranth, Bee Bald Leaves, and Shiso. Um, happy experimenting. Hi, my name is Sophie Sherwood and I'm from Bristol in the UK. I made a poppy petal anthotype for the submission this year and I did it because poppies were out and I've always wanted to use poppy petals for an anthotype. Um, I used a phytogram print that I made during the summer and I just wanted to see how it came out. Um, I'm really pleased with the results. Um, this experiment in anthotypes was made from redbud blossoms, wild violets, and blueberries. The source material for this Super 8 anthotype comes from a film my great-great-grandfather shot in the mid-1940s. The larger video in the back is a Super 8 duplication of his original 16mm film. In the lower right-hand corner, we see the anthotyped film. And now the anthotype channel itself. Though a valuable experiment, the contrast is extremely weak and oftentimes difficult to even see what is happening. This piece would have benefited from another coat or two of the anthotype emulsion and longer exposure times. Hi everyone, my name is Emilie Léger. I live in Penco, which is a town from the suburbs of Montréal in Canada. So basically this one was uh, created with a uh, spinach Lavender buds, blue butterfly pea buds, and basil. The reason why I tried this experiment was that um, I started growing my own lavender and basil because I use them in herbal tea and I'm quite excited to share it with you. So thank you so much for watching. Hi. My name is Jen Perenia, and I am an alternative process photographer in Rochester, New York. For this World Anthotype Day, I'm submitting my first ever anthotype, which was made with the berries of the black mulberry tree. Here it is. I created an emulsion by mashing the berries and mixing them with a thinner uh, 40 proof vodka. I coated a piece of watercolor paper five times to get a pretty thick coat of emulsion. And then I use the mulberry leaves to create a photogram. I really like how the contrast turned out and I'm excited to continue on with this process. I'm inspired by all the other anthotype um, artists in this group and I uh, really appreciate everyone letting me share my first ever submission to World Anthotype Day.
Hi, I'm Paul Ligas. I'm a photographer and photographic artist in Herefordshire in England. And this is my submission for World Anthotype Day. This is an anthotype made from bracken, which is an extremely common plant all around the world uh, in every continent except Antarctica. My process is one of collecting about a handful of the material and mixing it with isopropyl alcohol in a mortar and pestle and grinding it up good. I then filter it through cheesecloth, apply generally just a single layer to my um, watercolor paper. The print was made with a photograph that I had taken printed onto an overhead projector transparency using a laser printer. Uh, the bracken image created just an absolutely gorgeous color contrast and detail. I'm, I'm thrilled with it. It took about six hours to expose. It's really beautiful. Yeah.